G'day guys, I'm just going to do a quick demo video of how to apply Magnetostrictive or FECO, F-E-C-O tape. Uh, this is what we use as the magnet when we're doing uh, medium range and long range UT with shear waves on pipes and tanks. So it's a, a iron and cobalt strip that's tempered and we magnetize it up. Now we used to epoxy resin this on a long time ago and it was tedious and it took a while and it took a while to dry. We don't do that anymore. We use double-sided tape. We've got some new double-sided tape from Innerspec. It's fantastic stuff. The stuff that we used in the interim a little while ago, you had one shot at it. Once you put it on, you couldn't really tear it off and put it back on again if you got it wrong. This stuff you can. So I'll show you how we do this. It doesn't take too long. We wrap this around our pipe. We line this up. You can use a pen if you want. I just like to score it. It's okay to have a couple of millimetres gap, but we don't want to have an overlap because the overlap will will uh, may tear your coil. Now we use scissors. Run your fingernail just down the jaws of the scissors if you if you don't use our scissors to make sure there's no serrations. If you have serrations, it usually shatters the MS tape because it's quite brittle. The other trick is let it relax in its own little happy state of, of a curve and then cut it. And if you have a look there, there's no shattering. It's quite easy to cut when you use sharp scissors with no serrations. Now we get our double sided tape. And the easiest way to apply this is I just cut two small pieces. We put them on the outside of the bend. At either end. The hardest bit about this is having the fingernails to get the paper off. And then we stick that down on a flat surface. If you don't have a flat surface, you can use the pipe, but it's a bit easier on a flat surface like this. And then we get our double sided tape, and I like to get directly over the top just to make sure that it's lined up and then run your fingers down the tape to get rid of any air bubbles trim that off just rough now we trim that spot on because we don't want glue gluey tape stick into our coil and we peel this stuff off you can use electrical tape doubled over on itself to hold this down, but it's easier just to carry one roll of tape and there's not too much wastage doing it this way. And it comes off fairly easily. Okay, now to put this on, the easiest way is if we get a little, well, we can actually use the magnet of our MRUT C medium range shear sensor it's probably the easiest way but we leave the backing tape on we wrap this around and line it up if you end up being a little bit off off like that or like that it doesn't really matter but if it's too far off we'll get an air bubble underneath and that won't give us a good scan so we stick that magnet on there and then we peel back some of the tape All right, we'll peel back our tape. We line this up. Now, see if I get if I get that wrong, I can pull this one off pretty easily and line it up. Whereas the old stuff, you only had one go at it. Now that I've got that started, I can take this off, peel all my tape off, and just roll my, my hand around to keep any any air out of that. Yep, and I've got that a little bit off-center, so I'll try that again. Right. And there you have it. It's lined up. Now we just mag magnetize that up. A couple of, couple of laps, and it's ready to scan. Now, once I've finished the scan, if the client doesn't want this left on, just fingernails is enough, we can pull this off 
and we can use this again because it's quite expensive and as you can see the glue mark there it had very good adherence there were there's no air bubbles under that it'll give us a good scan and we can use that again we can actually use the tape twice after about two times it doesn't stick too well but we can peel the tape off and use the MS strip or the FICO strip over and over so we can save that one we can mark it as an 8 inch nominal bore pipe and stick that back in our toolbox so once we've got our FICO strip on uh, this this pipe is very clean and good it'll give us a really good scan and we should only get a dead zone of about 50 to 100 millimeters tops either side on a medium range and on a long range mm, maybe 200 to 300 mil but if the pipe was quite heavily pit corroded with pitted corrosion once we've got that surface corrosion off with a wire wheel or a bit of sandpaper and a rag we put our double-sided tape and FICO strip on we've got air bubbles underneath and that can reverberate or cause noise and our dead zone will be quite large to get rid of that to, to improve the quality of the scan what we can do is use this gaff tape and it's kind of like a paper masking tape I've just folded down on itself, that's no good. But basically all we do is run this around the FICO strip, one lap. And that, that just dampens the vibrations. It's more or less a physical filter, dampening the vibrations. Give that a shot and it should improve your, your scans a lot. Thanks very much.